Good morning. Happy Wednesday, Double Shot Tuesday, or rhyme time. Hey, good morning. We love you. Thank you. Yeah, we uh, missed yesterday. Uh, actually, we didn't miss it. We were out uh, hanging out with Pinocchio, skating, you know, doing crazy ass stuff. It was so much fun. So, here, so you can listen to the water. Here's a message from you to you. We are truly one, and this you knew. More rhymes, more words, more sharing. Giddy up. What do you like to sip in the morning from your cup? How about we talk about that moment we feel kind of crappy. Life is good, things are going well, and we should be really happy. But for some reason, our little mind is telling us some duty. It's what it wants to be upset, not feeling good. It likes when we're moody. Remember, however we feel all depends on the things we are choosing. It's the thoughts and the attached meanings we are in need of losing. We are sustained by the love of God all the time. Repeat this often out loud or in our head and take back control of the seemingly split mind. Cool. Good to see you. Yeah, like this is the morning dew. Hey, uh, Pinocchio, you liking the, like, liking the dew? Have you ever had a day where you felt really great and the next one you wake up feeling a little hate? How about one minute you're feeling on top of the world and the next you feel like you're gonna hurl? Well, when we are in our little mind, this is par for the course. We feel like we're a victim, like we just got a divorce. We go up and down and up and down all day long. Not to worry, there was nothing wrong. Yeah, this is how it is in the world of the ego and fear. It's dressed up in nice outfits, all while causing us to tear. The trick is to be aware of its sinister plan, that it's crying out for love. It's reaching out its hand. It's all either love or fear and we get to choose. We don't have to go around singing the blues. It's all really neutral, the stuff that's going on. We can see all of it as loving and experience a new dawn. A new dawn, look. A new dawn. So when we are feel crappy or blah or like we have no energy we can take a few deep breaths and just allow it to be think the thoughts and feel what we are feeling ask for a new interpretation and begin the healing it's all good even the stuff and the things we dislike we are only upset and wishing things were different because we want to be right we can choose to change the meanings and tell ourselves something different we don't need to give anything up or sacrifice just because it's lent Leave the past in the past and choose to be here right now. There's nothing we need to do, not even love all of it. And say, whoa! All right, we're fixing and we're on. How about this scenario? We've got a choice, the red or the blue pill. What happens when we're scheduled to meet someone and they're late? Do we allow it to upset us while we wait? Do we choose to remember it's all happening for our benefit or do we choose to get angry looking for something to hit? What's happening is what's happening. It's all in how we choose to respond. None of it has any power to dictate how we feel. Not even a hot blonde. We choose, we decide, we are the ones that attach a meaning. Funny, because we're attaching meanings to temporary things. Yeah, while we're dreaming. There is a place in us where there is perfect peace. There is a place within us where thoughts cease. There is a place in us where nothing is impossible. There is a place in us where every problem is solvable. Our purpose is to extend peace, to extend love. Our purpose is to let go of the meanings and rise above. Rely on inner guidance. Peace is the goal. Remember the truth. Remember that we are whole. We are peace in every situation. We are peace. Well, so let's have a celebration. Peace of mind is clearly an internal matter. It must begin with our own thoughts beyond their incessant chatter. It is from our peace of mind that a peaceful perception of the world arises. Remember, everything here is fear dressed up in all sorts of crazy ass disguises. 
Knowing that what we see is fear, it's a projection. We can ask Holy Spirit for a new interpretation for a correction. It's all a choice, everything we choose to see. See it as love, as light, as unity. We can see peace in this situation instead of what we are seeing. We can choose to be happy rather than be right. It's for our well-being. We can choose peace instead of being... Oh, we can choose peace instead of a being we wish were different. We can choose peace in any situation, in any event. We can see peace instead of what we think is wrong and needs to change. We can see peace under any circumstance, although that may sound strange. We can see peace wherever that we go. Peace is a choice. Well, now you know. We can see peace everywhere all of the time. We can see peace regardless of the thoughts in our mind. We are peace bopping around in this body. We are peace. We are joy. We are happiness. We are free. What we really want is the correction of mind, not the form. When we choose to do this, our life will completely transform. It's the undoing of the cause that we want to experience. Hey, look, we got a visitor. Say hi. Good morning. Good morning. Not the fixing of the effect. This is what's going to make the difference. To experience real change is to undo the cause rather than ex respond hastily to the effects. Relax. Take a deep breath and pause. The effects eventually change. Ah, but we really desire to let the cause go. The effects are just distractions, just illusions made up by the ego. Ask Holy Spirit for a new perspective of whatever is upsetting. Be willing to let go of the meanings. Start by forgetting. Yeah, start by forgetting everything we know. So that is it for Wacky Wednesday. Thank you for joining us. Uh, to everyone, remember, we are in charge of how we feel. Whatever it is going on in the world right now is neutral. That means it has no meaning. It is meaningless. We get to decide how we want to feel in any given moment, regardless of what we think is going on. So all the stuff on the news that they're telling us, I mean, really, how do we know it's true? How do we know? We don't know. They're just incessantly telling us the same thing over and over and over again and all of it is based in fear all of it has us hiding from our brothers and sisters seemingly keeping us separate remember the mind can only hold one idea a loving idea or the other idea so choose love and experience life everything in it as love be diligent about choosing love, choosing peace, choosing joy, choosing happiness over everything, over having to be right, over having to get patted on the back, over having somebody like you, over having an outcome turn out the way you think you want it to be. Choose to, choose to, choose peace, choose peace, choose love. Be that light. Be that love. Remember, as you see them, you see yourself. As you treat them, you treat yourself. As you think of them, you think of yourself. So choose love. Choose peace. Choose joy. Choose happiness. Choose to remember that we are the holy, innocent, peaceful child of God. All is well. All is well. Remember, you decide what type of day you are having. It is all up to you. To you, to you. Mr. Baloney, Mrs. Mortadella, uh, Ali, we love you. Oh, Ali, DP, we love you. MC Pinocchio, hey, take care of our little piece of deal. Thank you for the reminders. Of course, at the time, you know, we may not always like them, but thank you for the opportunities to change our perception, to see things as they truly are, not as we've been taught that they are. We love you. We are so grateful for you. We appreciate you. We will do this again really soon. Next time, you know, you should come do it with us. How fun would that be? You, me, sharing a little love, sharing a little truth. Until we do this again, we love you. Keep practicing. Keep asking to see things 
differently. Be determined to see things differently. And remember, there is only L-O-V-E. There's only love. Not the world's version of love, but love. The truth beyond all of this crazy-ass world. We love you. Deuces.